Okay, here's a tutorial on creating a white noise filter sweep using the ESP uh, synth. And um, I'm going to be doing some automation to the cutoff and finish this tutorial with getting a kick drum involved and side chaining to get the, the white noise to pump along with the uh, BPM of the track. I'm going to change my BPM right now. Here, double click. I'll enter 100. Okay, I'm going to instantiate the ESP here. Stereo. Okay, just a reminder about this uh, instrument. This is a subtractive type synthesizer, so there's oscillators here in this section. We've got a sawtooth wave, a triangle wave, square tooth, and then some elaborations on square tooth and then this last one noise is what I want to go for. So for now I'm going to pull these oscillators out of the mix. I'm going to turn up the noise. Yeah. When I hit a key on my piano keyboard, I get that kind of sound. All right. Uh, the other elements that I want to deal with here are ADSR, attack, decay, sustain, release. So I want this sound to sustain a bit more than it is. So I'm going to push up sustain and re release decay. These all three kind of work in, in tandem. I'm liking that better. Okay, the knob that I'm going to go automate then after I get this all set up is this knob here, the frequency knob. Think of this like your uh, uh, EQ. It's going to sweep the frequency like this. All right. So first things first is to generate a MIDI event in this track. I'm going to open up the piano roll editor, show you a real simple way to do that. My command click tool is set to a pencil tool right now. Cursor, pencil. So when I hold command and click on a note, in the grid here, it's going to draw that note in. Command, I'm going to use C3 here. And there's my note. I'm going to quantize that just to make sure it's going to start right at the beginning of the beat. Quarter note. Grab onto the note with the pointer tool. It turns to the resize tool. And I'll just pull this out to bar 9. I'll go adjust this up here also and that reflects what I've done down here in the MIDI region. Okay, I can close the piano roll now. Let's check the result. All right, it's doing what I want. The next thing to do is automate this frequency, and this is also known as cutoff. So when I go into the automation parameters on this track, I'm gonna be looking for cutoff. I'm gonna turn automation on. This is called offline automation. In other words, I'm doing it regardless of the playhead moving. I'm going to be doing this uh, with the playhead stopped. I'm going to just turn on latch automation. I'm going to go into the drop down list here to define what I want to automate. I'll go into the ESP. And like I said, this is called cutoff. They don't call it frequency. So I want to grab cutoff. I'm going to click in the region and that highlights the automation line for the frequency. And when I move this knob, you can see it changing dynamically. So what I want to do is just really make a one more node here and push this up a little bit. And this will just be to taste now. Let's just check what I've got. Okay, uh, perfect. Notice when I went and changed the volume, that also wrote volume automation in also. I'll just slide that across and get rid of it. Maybe put volume like this. Okay, uh, we can make this go left to right also. Let's just go into the, the pan knob, click on the region. This now represents my pan. So let's have this go from a left to right also. 
you can see the pan knob here all ready to go. All right, I'm gonna get out of automation so I don't write something by accident. I can close this now. Of course, you could put all kinds of effects on this. You know, reverbs and delays will sound really cool. But my general effect has been uh, achieved. Check this out. I'm going to put the, my playhead in the middle of this region. I'm going to hit play. And you notice you don't hear anything. That's because it's not, the playhead isn't triggering that MIDI note at bar one, beat one, division one, tick one. There's a workaround for that. It's a uh, thing that you do in settings under MIDI. Chase is what you want, notes, and leave this checked here, sustain. So that means now that regardless of where the playhead is and where my MIDI event is, it's going to play the material. I typically have that set up on every session. All right, so you got the general idea there. In the next video, I'm going to show you how I set up a kick drum to make this pump along with the uh, with the BPM of the of the song. Stay tuned.